Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here from Break the Internet and welcome back to another Snapchat video today up on the channel. Today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at a tip that is going to allow you to make your Snapchat art 10 billion percent better, if that's even possible. This is a trick that a lot of the bigger Snapchat artists use, M. Pladko, E.M. Garber, Cyrene Q, Sean Duras, Opera Americano, all those guys that do amazing, amazing work on Snapchat as far as the art goes, or really everything. This is a tip that they use, so guys, you have to watch the entire video. It's gonna be lots of fun. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Alrighty guys, so moving on over to the phone section to today's video, you can go ahead and as always use the code on screen right here to take a screenshot, take a picture on your computer, or use the name at Aaron FPS to join the journey here with all the other people that are on here. And I mean, last week I went to South by Southwest and had an amazing time, Snapchat of the whole thing, and I have a lot of stuff coming in the near future, so you're definitely gonna wanna add me on Snapchat. Anyway, we're gonna get right on into the tutorial. Now, I'm sorry for your Android users, I don't have an Android device, but I'm gonna be, I'm looking into getting one for the future tutorials and also remaking some of my videos. Um, for your Android users. So down here, you're gonna go to your settings here on the iPhone, go down to general, find accessibility, and then you go over to zoom. Now mine's already on, obviously, if it's not on, then you click that to turn it on. And there's a bunch of different settings on here, you can read down them if you want to, but I'm gonna show you how to use it over on Snapchat. So over on Snapchat, we're gonna take, let's not take a selfie, because that's kind of weird, um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a selfie, and here, you can click, of course, the little draw tool, whatever, and it's a little bit hard to get in those like fine details sometimes, like if there's a circle, it's kind of hard to get in those, like get in there without making outside the lines, right there you can see that. So what you can do here is if your zoom is already on, you can double tap on the screen and it's gonna go ahead and zoom in. Now if you use your three fingers, you can actually move it around just like this and you can figure out where you wanna move. Also, if you triple tap with three fingers, it's gonna bring up this menu. Now you can zoom out, it's gonna bring you to the regular screen. Also, double or triple tap once again, you can use a little slider to zoom in everywhere you want. And then also, um, you can use like the window zoom, that gets a little bit confusing, it's just gonna bring up this area where you can move this around. I just don't like it because the, the it's just a little bit too small for me, I just like to be able to hold the, or actually zoom in with the entire screen. So I'm going to, full screen zoom, just like that. And then the show controller is something that you could use if you're in this full screen section, because it's going to allow you to move around the screen with this little um, button here. So if you're like super zoomed in, you wanna to get to different parts of the screen, it's gonna allow you to do so by using this little controller. So I'm actually going to zoom out just a little bit and I'm gonna move the controller. And right here, I'm just gonna make a very simple drawing, but I'm gonna have a little time lapse so you guys can, so you don't have to sit through the entire thing and it's, um, it's gonna be quite easy. So here we go. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not the most artistically inclined person there ever was to live, but if you're already good at drawing on Snapchat and you didn't know about this tip, then this is gonna help you get some more of those finer details in there and um, make your Snapchat art pop, like I said. So what I wanna do here is, if you go over to Instagram, at Aaron FPS, make something really awesome on Snapchat as far as a drawing goes, maybe using this tool or just in general, and go over to Instagram, post it on your Instagram, tag at Aaron FPS for my Instagram, and I wanna check out what you guys have to do, and if some of them just kind of pop, they're just awesome, I wanna save those and either put them on my Snapchat story or put them on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. So try that if you want to. If you have something awesome, send it over to me, and I'll be trying to seeing every single one of them. And just like that, this video is slowly coming to end, but if you haven't already, please leave a big fat like on this video. It shows your support, it shows me that you like these videos, and it gets this video out to so many more people that may be confused about the app. They're just downloading it. They're like, where do I find all these awesome tips? Well, right here is exactly where they're gonna do it. Also, over there is the previous video where you can check out how you can record on Snapchat without using your hands. Incredible, mind blown. Also down below is the subscribe button where you can go and click that and you'll be notified every single time I upload a video because I mean you're probably gonna wanna do that because I kind of have a lot of tips that I'm gonna be sharing within the next couple of weeks and also some interviews with some awesome Snapchatters if you wanna see that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Aaron from Break the Internet, your number one stop shop for Snapchat tips, tricks, updates, and everything you need to know about Snapchat. Of course, leave any of your suggestions down below in the comment section. And of course guys, have an amazing day.
and we'll see you next time.